Hello, my lovely flowers. It's me, Nia, with Exquisite Flow Design and Events, and I'm back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about how I started my in-home floral shop with only $99. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nia and I'm a floral designer. I owned a large, well, medium size uh, floral design company where we do flowers for large events. And this year I started a floral shop, but I was going to move to a warehouse and I had a situation with that. So I just said, you know what, I'm going to still start it. And I started it at home and it's doing really, really well. So I said, you know what, let me provide you with some information on how to start your own in-home floral uh, shop with only $99. So the first thing I did was I found a, um, a, um, company or software that already had like a whole catalog of flowers and it had um, had a whole catalog of flowers it had pricing it had everything that it needed and that company was named was called floral next so for $99 for the first month they set up everything that I needed they set up my floral uh, they had the floral shops where Valentine's, all the different categories. There was nothing I really needed to do was, but just um, put in the, my times. Um, they linked it to my website, which I did pay like, um, probably like $9 more to get um, a, um, a domain name, but hey, you don't have to, you can get you a, you know, a, a free domain name. But I did um, end up purchasing shop um, shop exquisite floral design or is it shop exquisite floral shop exquisite floral yeah <clears throat> so I did end up getting that so I'm gonna show you some of the stuff that is on there so I'm gonna go onto my phone because most people order um, well you know some people order on the website but we're gonna just look at it in my phone and I'm going to just go through screenshot so that you can kind of see how everything looks. So it is shopexquisitefloraldesign.com and let me screen record this so that you guys can see what I'm talking about. So when you come onto my website, you will see, um, it says welcome to a Swizzle Floral Design and Event located. I need to take off the, um, you can call the place orders. Cause I had a few people call and I'm like, I, don't, I didn't pay, I didn't purchase the additional, I think it's 10 or 15 hours where you can purchase, um, you can take phone orders. When somebody call, I tell them I only take orders online. So you have to take orders online. And so this website came everything prepared and all the pictures and everything that you need. And even like, say we're going to click on um one of the let's see hold on let's click on one that i've done i haven't done any on these well let's do the pink chic and um it gives you the recipe of everything that you need for the flowers what i did was i kind of tailored down the catalog that i had because i didn't want to have too many flowers on hand and that's something that i would suggest with you tailor it down to where you don't need that many flowers if you don't have a floral refrigerator or anything to keep um keep your flowers really cool. Um, what I did do is I had a room and I had its own air conditioning system and I bought, um, and it would just, it would get really cold in there. So I was able to keep flowers for like weeks because it got really cold in that same room. So basically this is the website. Everything that you see on this website, it came pre-designed. Um, it is just it's awesome so you could just pick for any occasion um you know the plants it, it's everything is on here so this was perfect for me it didn't you know i didn't have to do much to to create it was basically done everything was done for me so there's some other um websites like quick floral um i'm not very sure but they're also a pre-designed website and then bloom nation so those were just those are just uh software that you get a pre-designed website and you're 
on to you're ready to go now there's other ways that you could do it too you can get a wiring service where they're like ftd teleflores and pro floral those are ones that advertise a lot but the only problem with those types of services say you buy a um say you buy something for a friend for a hundred dollars the actual arrangement really only costs 80 because they take it off the top and then they send you only fifty dollars so you've got your pro you you only got fifty dollars to make an arrangement that they charge a hundred dollars so by the time you get everything i think you're probably only going to get about twenty five dollars off a of profit where you just do this yourself so that's the one the bad thing about tele um about a wiring service that they take a lot off the top almost 50 percent i think 20 to 20 or 50 percent i'm not very sure i was reading up on it when i was deciding to do this and i just saw a lot of bad reviews and then i had remember my mom had purchased um an arrangement for her friend and she didn't want to do it for me because she knew i would have to drive all the way to orange county just for one delivery so she purchased something from them and it was horrible the picture that they show compared to what she ended up getting it was horrible so but hey for each is all and if you want to get your business going really really fast um, a wiring service is excellent to also use now you got your website together now it's time for advertising all i did was i um i went and just opened up a google you know google business account and let me see um how many i just got it you get emails every month to, every month to see how many people have visited your site. And I could sworn I just seen it not too long ago. Let's see, um, did I delete it? I may have deleted it. Cause I'm like, I don't really care. But I think last month, let's see, let's Google it. I think last month I had like 9,000 people uh, visit my um, Google website. So I was like, dang, that, that's pretty good. You know, 9,000 9, or 6,000 people, I believe, visit my website. So Google will always send you um, how many people visit, how many people clicked, how many people looked for your address and all that good stuff. And then, oh, you can do Facebook, um, Facebook ads if you want to put a little bit of money towards that. You don't have to put a lot, $10, whatever. You just got to get your name out there. And then when you do Facebook ads, you can do Facebook and Instagram and just put it in your general area and then i also do email marketing so i did purchase constant connect and i just did a email you know send out an email blast to let everyone know i was supposed to do it monthly but i've been so busy i haven't even done anything but i will do one for mother's day because um a lot of ladies um you know purchase stuff for their moms and they kind of do things better than valentine's day when guys are getting flower for their for their girls another thing with floral next you can also pay an additional ten dollars and they will do an email marketing blast for you which is awesome too so you don't even have to do that i didn't i opt out to do that so that's okay but that's a really good thing that floral next also provides for you now um you also need to go get a resale license and find your local a local wholesaler so that you can purchase your flowers from i am so blessed that i have one that's like 15 minutes away from me so i cut my orders off at 10 o'clock for same delivery if your order after 10 it will have to be the next day delivery so i don't have to keep a lot of flowers on hand what i normally go do is i'll go purchase if i don't have everything i need i can go purchase a few things and make um, make the arrangement because a lot of my stuff I try to keep like pink roses white roses red roses and yellow roses and then I try to keep um, a lot of other things so every week I only have an inventory of about a hundred to two hundred dollars but I've been selling about four to five hundred dollars a week and that's pretty good because I'm not doing a whole lot now another thing you can also do is I started DoorDash and oh my gosh, I was getting about two to three orders a day. And I, it was just, it was too much for me because I'm like, I just wanted to test this out and see if I liked it. Um, and it's cool. It's just that I think I like, um, I think I like having 
doing larger events and um you know having everything and not having so much of waste then rather than having you know having to keep so much of stuff on inventory and having a little bit of weight you know having waste so you have to keep that in mind too you're gonna have waste but if you like you know i i, I tell you guys i was getting tons and tons of orders so i had got doordash at first and then Grubhub contacted me or like people were requesting me on their website and they started but the only problem thing only thing with Grubhub is you have to have a retail address for the um their people to come pick it up DoorDash was like we don't care you can pick it up at your house um another thing that I do also so that if you do have your website and you do want to put an address I say I suggest that you get a virtual um address you can get that off of, what did I, you just go, Google virtual office. Um, yeah, a Google virtual um, office or address and you can get, I think my I got one for my husband. It was like $9 a month. I have a, a virtual office, but mine is more of an actual warehouse location. And if I need to go in and use our conference room for meetings and stuff, I have that there. So I love that. I only pay like $40 a month and they get my mail they notify me when my mail has come came and then like i said i can also meet clients but i don't meet clients no more people don't meet face to face anymore everything is done online i do though have to let you guys know that people older people do like to do things over the phone so you may want to pay the additional fee so that you could take orders online i'm not very sure about quick floral or bloom nation if they um you know have everything connected but i i love floral next it's only 99 dollars a month um, first month was $99. They set up everything. They were very detailed in going through um, everything I needed to know on how to set up, um, show me how to add stuff, take off stuff, and all that good stuff. And I was able to link it to my wedding website as well as my wedding website is linked to shop exquisitefloraldesign.com. So I hope this video is a very informational. I didn't want to talk too much because I can talk forever. So don't forget to like and comment on this video. Let me know if you decided to start up your own indoor, I mean, in-home flower shop. And like I said, it only took $99. Now you can invest a little bit more. Like I said, you can get, um, you can uh, Google was free. Um, you can do Facebook ads, email marketing, and don't forget you need to set yourself up with a resale license and um, find your local local florist. Oh, and then also check with your uh, city to see if you need any kind of business license or anything like that. But I don't think that costs anything. Um, I think mine was free. Or I think I had to give an estimate amount. It's been so long, I can't even remember. But anyway, you guys enjoy the rest of your day or night and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.